Hey YouTube, welcome to the next part of the I Wizard 1-1 walk. I returned safely and with good news. I was worried that I had sent you into harm's way needlessly. I should not have doubted the great Muda. Kanago is a formidable opponent, but we can surprise him in his pagoda. He will not be expecting you to find him. Go there and get the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter from him. Alright, so we uh, last time we left off in the Cave of Solitude, we just got another piece of the scepter. Uh, now we need to defeat uh, Kanago, I believe his name was, and collect the last piece. So go ahead and cut ahead to him. There is a teleporter stone right next to him, so make sure to pick that up. Uh, rather, activate it. <laughs> so let's go inside his dojo. Ha! We are prepared. My little piggies warn me that you are coming, wizard. You will never have the Jade Scepter while I still stand. All right, Kanago, you, you, you talk too much. You just gotta, you know, have. I mean, you know, most bosses have a, like a sentence of dialogue. You kind of broke that, so, you know, we have a problem now. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Kanago, uh, the last boss we have to do, the last quest in the Cave of Solitude. Yes, we are done with the Cave of Solitude in like two, three parts. So, it just shows how fast uh, this goes by. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, well, what's it called? Kanago. <laughs> uh, interesting drops for him. He is, he reportedly drops the Myth Leprechaun, and I believe that is true. I believe I got it from him once on my main account, so I believe he does drop the Myth Leprechaun. Um, so that is a Myth Pet, obviously. Uh, other than that, though, it doesn't drop anything too good. He does actually drop the, uh, uh, a really good um, Death Atham for level 40s, but it is auctionable, it's not the best. So, uh, there is that. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing too special. No, you know, nothing really to farm for. If you are a pet collector, he does drop that Myth Leprechaun. Uh, it is only 34 pedigree, it is a pretty bad pet overall. It looks pretty cool, um, but other than looks, you know. Nothing, he's not too useful, so. Um, but yeah, so we are done with the Cave of Solitude after this battle here, so. You know, we, we started this, like, I don't know what part. Uh, let's check, shall we? <laughs> um, if I had to guess, this, this will be part 116. Pretty sure... Huh. Okay. Yeah, we should have start, we should start this part 114, I believe. 114, I believe, was when we started Cave of Solitude, so... Um... Yeah, we started Cave of Solitude part 114. So, you know, 114, 115, and now 116, and we are done. So, yeah, that just shows you how sh short Mushu is. <laughs> And how fast we'll be able to, uh, you know, get through it. And right there, what you just saw was, uh, yeah, it's not actually the video freezing on you guys. It was just my fraps when I was recording crashed. Um, so I, that's why I have, like, a nice amount of pips right now and everything. It's because of that. I had to, you know, reboot the game. Um, my character was left in the game. Uh, so, but I obviously, obviously missed a couple turns, so whatever. Um... We are at uh, 1950 subs, guys, so uh, thanks for all the support, been loving it. Um, like I said, when we get to 2000, I'll have some cool stuff, uh, possibly a giveaway. I'll definitely have a q and I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on the giveaway, guys, um, just because the, what's it called, the, the sub meetup is coming, you know, relatively soon, within a month or so. And I'd rather put that money towards giveaways during the sub meetup. So I don't know, maybe I'll still try to get a giveaway in for you guys, but uh, we'll see. I'll definitely have a 2000 sub QA vid. Um, I think that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, and who knows? Who knows what else I'll do? Uh, or my friend that uh, he'll think of. He, uh, go ahead and check out our Elder Scrolls online videos, guys. It looks like a pretty cool game. Um, you know, I tried it out. Um, it's okay, in my opinion. You know, I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, and uh, right there, we got the last piece. So let's actually go ahead and talk to Din Ho. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut ahead to him. This headpiece you retrieved is the most important part of the Jade Scepter. I hope we can repair all of it soon. In ancient times, the Jade Scepter was blessed by the forest spirits. Ancient spirits, they hold sway over the earth, water, and air spirits. We will need the help of these venerable forest spirits. To do so, we must first catch their attention with offerings of Jade Lotus, Tiger Lily, and Pearl Orchid. Please, gather these flowers and bring them back to me. Alright, so he needs us to find like three flowers and stuff. And I just speed this up because I'm just here walking around trying to find... I believe the Tiger Lily, I think, was the hardest one to find. Just because there's not too many of them spawning around. Um, like I said, Elder Scrolls Online, um, I believe it's still in beta. Um, if you have a beta key, you, you could go ahead and enter it. Um, they lifted their NDA, their non-disclosure agreement. Uh, so, you know, you could... Uh, they, they lifted it a while ago. Um... There's the Pearl Orchard. I just personally, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna post it because, you know, I'm kind of, you know, 50-50 on the game, and, uh, you know, I don't want to post something that I might end up not potentially liking later on. Uh, so right here is the Tiger Lily. I just ended up cutting ahead till I found one. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk back to Dinho. Let him know we have his uh, flowers. Wonderful. What a fragrant display. The forest spirits will be pleased. Now gather up the flowers, along with the three pieces of the jade scepter, and place them all into the brazier at the center of the cave. Hopefully the forest spirits will hear your prayers. I'll be praying for you too, young wizard. May you go there and return with the jade scepter intact. Alright, so we have to now combine all these pieces and stuff of the jade scepter and, you know, make it, and you just gotta go to this brazier right here, and apparently... That holds all the magic for you. Got some cattails on the way there. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Three cattails in total. And uh, an ore. So. Receive the Jade Scepter. And just like that we get the Jade Scepter. Very nice. Lots of magic going on there. We didn't, we didn't even have to lift the finger there. You know, just, just put it in and done. So let's go ahead and let Dinho know we got the Jade Scepter. Merciful Muda. I thought perhaps the Jade Scepter would be lost from us forever. But here it is. I see that I must learn to quiet my doubts. With the Jade Scepter, we can now begin to restore our shrines. Please, carry the Jade Scepter back to Sun Hing and tell him about all you've done here. So that's it, we are done with the Cave of Salts, guys. Main and side quests are done. Let's go ahead and talk to Sun Hing. You have the Jade Scepter. Thank the Muda. Now, take the Jade Scepter and talk to Tu Luk Kuo at the Kashibi village. He's the caretaker of our holy shrines. If we want to weaken the plague, Oni, we need to restore the shrines to their former glory. Tula Kuo is the one to contact about such a thing. Alright, so now we need to go into the next area, which is Kashibe Village. So like I said, guys, done with the Cave of Solitude. I don't think we'll really revisit that area. Uh, at all, I don't remember. I don't really think you need to do anything there. You know how some areas you end up like Crocotopia, a lot of Marleybone quests ask you to go back there. Um, but uh, Cave of Solitude, I don't think you're going to be going back there too much, uh, unless you want to farm a boss there or something. So we're entering the, uh, you know, final area. Uh, Shirataki Temple is a dungeon, so I won't really count that as an area. So this is the final area of. Uh, <sighs> what is this place called? I forgot. Hmm. Because hmm. of of Shoshan of Shoshan Village, there you go, Shoshan Village. That is the final area of Shoshan Village. So, so two areas and one dungeon. Uh, this is the second and last area, Kashibe Village. I leave the walking in just to just get a view of the scenery. And here is uh, Tulakwa. Thank you, Wizard. We'll need the Jade Scepter to restore our holy shrines. You must seek out the Shrine Guardians of Mind, Body, and Spirit. Only the Jade Scepter can restore the Shrines to their former spiritual state. Start with Kin Pao, the Shrine Guardian of the Body Shrine. While the Plague Oni has devastated much, it cannot take away our faith. Wizard, please help. A disease has ravaged my village. 
My herbal remedies help none, and I fear I too will fall to this wicked disease. Please collect skin samples from diseased villagers and bring them to me. This is no ordinary disease. Only strong earth spirit wisdom will save us. Please, I beg you. I'm feeling faint already. Alright, so he wants to defeat 10 infected villagers and get 10 skin samples. Damn! It's a lot of villagers you guys got infected here from these uh, poor water supplies or wherever it is. But if you go up here, you're going to find Mossback, and he's going to have a quest for you if you completed the one in Cave of Solitude. Water spirits spreading disease. Collect samples from them. Bring to me to save earth spirits from disease. So he wants us to collect 10 diseased water sample thingy majiggies, but uh, for now we're going to go ahead and take a nice stroll over to, uh, I believe, who do we have to talk to? Tula Kuo again in uh, some dojo. Um, and so yeah, we're starting Kashibe Village here. Remember guys, part 116. We'll probably be done <laughs> with part 18. I predict a similar fate. Uh, for Kashibe Village as Cave of Solitude. The, m the main part of why my part of why uh, I complete these areas really quickly, here's a teleport stone, is because of the, you know, the speeding up I do, the cutting out battles, because let's be honest, no one wants me, like, you know, for the diseased water spirits, no one wants you to, to anyone to actually, no one wants to watch you fight, you know, 10 diseased water spirits, you know, show it once, speed it up, you know, it, it's not, it's not a challenge, you know, this is a walkthrough, so, you know, the stuff that needs explaining, uh, you know, I'll leave in, um, but, you know, simple, you know, mob battles that most people could get through without a problem is, you know, I don't feel necessary to show in, so I take those out or speed them up, you know, and that's why we get through these really quickly, um, anyways, here is, uh, Khan Po, actually, right. is his name. Yes, yes, it must be purified. Why do you ask? Please help me. In my feverish state, I cannot channel the energies of the body to purify the shrine. It's the mushrooms. They cause disease. Deal with the mushrooms before they spread the disease to everyone. Quickly, before you get infected too. Alright, so he wants us to go ahead and take care of this... T d d <laughs> oh my gosh. I was going to say defeat 10 disease mushrooms. Destroy 10 mushrooms and I speed this up because it's just me you know right here look at this teleport stone it wouldn't activate I opened my map just to see maybe it's my internet it's not my internet because then if it was your internet the symbol the book symbol above your head would have stayed um but yeah right here if you just go up don't get dragged in you get uh take care of these diseased mushrooms destroy them now there was a glitch I, I don't know what year it was back where these diseased mushrooms you could just keep spamming x on them you not not like you know, keeps you would like click X and then they would spawn again in like five seconds. About so, uh, but they made it so that uh, now there is a longer respawn delay, um, which is whatever. So, right here is the last one. You see, it just went basically in a circle, they still respawn incredibly quickly, but back then it was even faster than this. So, you won't need to switch realms or anything, guys. It's just really simply go in a circle. Now I decided to go ahead and take care of these diseased water spirits. I believe if you, if you hold on to this quest, you'll be able to stack it with the main quest later on. So don't be an idiot like me. Um, just keep you keep keep this quest for now for Mossback. And uh, like I said, Mossback, he will only have a quest for you if uh, you what's it called did his in the Cave of Solitude. So and. Uh, you're going to see he's going to be in Shirataki Temple too. And for that one, you'll need to have, to have completed the Cave of Solitude and the Kashibe Village. So, you know, it, it goes in a series. You need to complete each one in each area for the next one to activate. Um, and, yeah. Uh, this one, his quest is fairly simple. If you're in the Cave of Solitude, it has to do a couple things, you know. Defeat this, uh, defeat those Colossus, uh, Earth, Corrupted Earth Walkers, or whatever they were called, and then go talk to somebody, you know, purify the, the sand or whatever, the soil, whatever. Uh, this one's simple. I'll, after you just defeat these ten, that's it. His quest is done for this area, so... Um, I was thinking that maybe they they cut down his quest. I remember back when I you know, was first playing this game that this Mossback quest in Kashibe Village was a bit longer. I believe he had, like, quests after. But, nevertheless, are there a faint and a vampire will do wonders for you. Um, I obviously am going to just go ahead and put the rest of these battles up. 
No need to show them. And right here, we are going to take that last uh, diseased water spirit uh, and collect the diseased water. I got about two every battle, so it took me only about five battles. Um, now we're going to go talk to Mossback. So we get a lot of things done in this video, guys, already in Kashibe Village as far as, you know, side quests go. Complete Mossback side quest, do, you know, one to two main quests, so... Uh, pretty good we're moving along pretty nice and that's what i want you know i want to you know make a lot of progress in these videos not you know just stay in the same area for 30 parts and not do anything so uh but yeah let's go ahead and uh, talk to moss back thank you living creature you have done a great deed all right so yep, that is it and now i'm just going to go ahead and return the quest to Kan Po, uh letting him know that we destroyed his uh disease mushrooms for him um and then we're gonna end off the video here guys so after we talk to con po we're not gonna be doing anything else uh so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next part thank you i can already feel the noxious effects going away although i haven't fully recovered i feel we must act the sooner the shrine is purified, the sooner the plague Oni will be driven out. Use the Jade Scepter on the Shrine of the Body, while I use my strength to channel energy into the shrine. The shrine has been cleansed of evil spirits. This is a good day for the Muda. The shrine is once again full of energy. Please let Tula Kuo know we have succeeded. I will stay here and recover my strength. <laughs>